Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our Marwell Manor series. John Deere exclusive, of course. So I just um, went in and had a bit of lunch after I uh, finished loading up all these silage bales. I put one load of silage bales... Hmm, one load of silage bales into here. Um, and we've got another load to do yet. I haven't picked any up. Um, yet, so I did put one load in there, just that way you guys aren't sort of, um, sitting here bored while I unload too much. I'm going to lower that rear weight because, um, hopefully, I'll show you guys why. So instead of coming in here and taking three bales at a time, I've been coming in and taking, um, six at a time. So you've got to come in nice and steady. It up and then tilt it back, lift it just a little bit, and then whoop, go right hand down, I should say, uh, and back. That way, you don't go hitting any of those other um, bales off the actual trailer. It's the last thing you sort of want to be doing. And of course, I'll just bring them in and make a mess of them, of course. What else am I going to have? So that's not normally what I do. I obviously didn't pick them up properly in the first place. And I usually push forward, take the spikes out of the top ones, drop them down, and there we go. But obviously, it sort of didn't work the way it'd been working the whole time. First time on camera, and I'm completely wrong. Right. Let's pick this one up, drop them down. Sort of stack these in nice and tight. Put that one on top of that one as well. Yep. Yeah, something like that, that'll do. There we go. Back one, throw it on top, and then we'll go back and go for attempt number two, but hopefully. We actually uh, do it right this time. Don't make any mistakes. Right, so sort of try and get the centre of the track done in the centre of the um, bales. Put the extra spikes forward. You want to lift it up so it hits all the bales at the same time. Ah, there we go. Lift it up a little bit, as I said. Right hand down. Back it out, put them down and took them back. I think that's like the heaviest weight that we can actually get on the back, and it's still struggling to keep up the weight here. It is 24,000 litres, so I don't know. I don't know how heavy that would actually be. Fairly heavy, I'd say. Um, let me actually move these. I know we probably shouldn't really be handling them, but there we go. At least I'll be able to unstack the rest of them properly. Stack these guys in here. I was meant to leave room for the straw bales in here, but I think I'll put the straw bales sort of behind us. Right, so once again, lower it all the way down, push hard. Pull back those spikes and push them back forward again. So I put the straw bales in here, I think, in that little section in there. We don't actually need to be in here with these guys uh, unless we run them sort of along that um, other wall, sort of as we enter. So I don't want to sort of um, end up pinching ourselves with room, not having much room. So I'd rather keep them sort of separate. In there, I think we'll be alright. If we were to run them along that wall, coming in out, I think it'll be it's way too many. So I think in there, to start with, we'll put them and then we'll um, see if we have an excess, which we probably will. We'll see how much straw was left on the ground over there. So no doubt we'll probably have a huge excess straw bales left behind. Grab this next pile and then 
first two last in the single lots we go obviously on the side where we've got the fifth fifth row of them so lift them up there we go so this trailer works well it um, allows us to auto load them to pick them up but um, then we can still manually unload them wherever we like Shot these guys. So make sure they're sort of straight in there. Back them out. And even if we wanted to, we could move those three other stacks and um, put them in front of those ones, but it's not going to matter too much. Um, I think we'll have a quick look at our sheep. Now we do have some grass and some hay over there, so that's fine. So we don't need to wait for the, for the one stack. One stack of three, we should be able to get four on here at a time. But seeing as though the trailer only loads in three high, it's a bit of a pain. And the other thing that I sort of thought was maybe that we could probably stack them in here spend a bit of time making them fall high but it's really not going to matter too much for us anyway like once we get them all stacked away three highs plenty there we go last one so the rear weight isn't required it's optional if you're only doing one stack but if you're going to do the double stack like I've been doing um, definitely you definitely need the rear weight Otherwise, your um, rear end does come off the ground a fair bit. Right, so that's really all we need at the moment. So I'm going to have all this detached the stuff in here. Reweight just to go with this corner. There we go. And, um, we bring the baler down. Where did I put the bloody baler? I think I did move it somewhere, didn't I? Um, actually, have I finished even spraying that field? I think I did. Nearly. Where's our baler? Should be around somewhere. Nice to know where I put it. Um, I'm sure I moved it somewhere. Quick look up here. Didn't there, no, it's not here anywhere. It's not in there. It's not in that shed. Cycle through, so you're not in there. Uh, that's not finished yet. Where is it? Jesus. There's the bailer. Right, so we'll grab um, this guy. I think this guy's got more than enough power to actually start the bailer up, so we'll um, use this failing. Do apologise, those birds are bloody noisy today. If I had something to throw at them, probably would. I usually um, got this bag. Just sound like it's an ambient noise in game, but they are bloody loud, trust me. Very annoying at times. They've been quiet nearly all day today, and as soon as I go to start recording, they might pop like the annoying buggers they are. Right, so we go and get the bailing sort of started over here. I think our next priority will be to plow our other fields of grain rather than plow the grass. The grass is still going to continue to grow without us touching. We're still going to make money out of it, so there's nothing that we need to really worry about with that. Um, give me a second, you might. There we go. <laughs> I didn't hit them, I promise. I just threw my pan at them to shut them up. Hopefully that shuts them up. 
Um, didn't hit the cage either, by the way. They are bloody annoying, and I know it does frustrate you guys at times with listening to them in the background. So try to minimise their annoying noise. Right, so I'm going to do um, a run this way, a run that way, a run that way, and then sort of a run down that end. That way I could bring the plough over, do a run around the outside, and then set them up to run um, north south again. Hopefully we won't have any dramas with them ploughing the field. Just a little bit of straw there, but if we miss a little bit, so I'm not too concerned. We're going to have that many bloody bales. It's not funny. We have to bring the truck over as well, so we can start loading. And obviously, that didn't scare the birds enough. They're still going to keep going. Next option is to pause the video and go and move them to a completely different room. And hopefully, they'll shut up. Then. All right. Anyway, we'll get some. Um, so this run, we'll get that run done. Then we're going to need to come back to the truck and collect some of these bales out of the way before we start ploughing. But then again, I don't know, we might just have to wait until we've fully baled the field before we um, start ploughing. Sorry, just move my microphone. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. I think I must have bumped it before when I decided to lash out at the birds a little bit. So what do we got? Five, six bales already. Including the ones in here of course, so maybe seven. So we've got a fair few. Um, I have still been looking around for some more mods, haven't really found any new John Deere stuff, so still staying with what we've got. Um, someone has commented on the John Deere Auto Stacker, which it was pretty early on in the piece. We did look at it, but it was quite bugged, so we've decided against it, and we've gone back to just using the auto load trailer, which isn't bad. Certainly gets the job done. I would love to have an auto load trailer that actually picks the bales up and then um, allows us to still throw the straps over the top. A lot of them doesn't actually allow us to do it, which is kind of weird. But it um, doesn't matter. Let's have a look at that field. Uh, so there's no weeds at all in that field anymore. Well, there still is, but the tractor's still there. I've got to put him away. I was pretty sure I did finish that, but I'll actually go back and take another look at it. That's finished. I might as well just head back up this run and then down and up and back down. Can't really get um, Jacko out of his out of his house yet to help us do anything. Can't even set him up mowing down there because um, the mowers that we got don't really seem to work. The only other option we have is to we could possibly lease um, some mowers. I don't think we have, we don't have like a John Deere forage harvester, no, so we'd have to lease some normal mowers, so 9 meters, 3.2, lease like both of these guys, and um, see how they go, we'll get them picked up, 170 plus 90, so 280 horsepower we're going to need. So I think we'll jump back into our other tractor and get them to help. Um, I think we did, we've still got this guy, still leased him and that and all that sort of stuff. So if we go and jump in our 6230R, which I might quickly do now. Um, I might back this guy back. Um, and can we unload? We can. We can unload the herbicide. So that's uh, probably the main thing because we need to return both the herbicide and the tractor now that we're not using it. 
we'll need to get him again later on, so we're going to have to purchase it later on. So I think if we just line up over here somewhere and unload oh, one big tank, that's pretty good. Alright, shut him down, go back into garage, we'll return you to the sprayer. Alright, now cycle through till we get to our, actually the 8400, there we go. Because of course, we're using a little tractor, so I should have remembered that, but obviously didn't. So we'll head up to the shop with this guy. We will pick up the um, mowers and come back down and try to set Jacko up to get him out of the house, get him doing something, get him making his money, and um, go from there, see what happens. Still haven't looked at cosplay again since our last episode with the dramas, so still just going to have to do everything ourselves or with hired workers. I'm hoping that the developer of cosplay looks at the reason behind all these mods are causing the game to crash, not save properly, and um, could hopefully rectify that problem. That's attempt number two to keep the birds quiet. Let's see how we go. I don't think it's going to help. They've literally been like quiet all bloody day until now. Also, the next step is to either cover them up, which is pretty bad because it's only five o'clock in the afternoon, or um, move them to another room. They're not quite as noisy. So we've still got our mixing wagon there. So we're at that stage now where we can you know, nearly purchase some more cows. So close to having total mixed ration. Well, we pretty much have total mixed ration now. We just need to obviously get some bales. Get some bales, take them back down, get them unloaded and um, go from there. So that's probably going to be something we do maybe next episode depending on how much money we have probably not going to be able to buy many um, cows and that sort of thing but if we can get a few I'll be pretty happy let's have a look at our um, animals there we go no animal transport there we go so we can get 50 in there or 12 in there so we're definitely gonna have to buy the upgraded one only getting 12 cows in the standard version kind of it's a little bit weird to me it's certainly not enough um, let me check our settings fast plant withering is off yep that's the main thing just want to make sure we look at that what happened there I should have driven over that with something <laughs> damaged the crop not quite sure what so we'll have to find out what I drove over that with, that might have been last episode and I didn't even realise, or even between, or between episodes. Let's get out and shut this bloody gate. I think the person that lives in there would uh, shut things when he leaves. Anyway, so... Jacko a bit of a beep, letting him know. Hey mate, it's going to be on in a minute. You'll be out here doing this, not me. So let's look at the map quickly. Where's... Okay, so the field does start like all the way down here. Think somewhere. Right, so I'm gonna do the one run, as I said. Um, I don't think. No, it's not like one of the other ones where you can sort of make it windrow to the left or the right, or still swath or whatever. So we'll do a full run around the outside just of this part, I'm not going to do the other side, we'll just do this side for now and then um, set Jacko up to get out of his house and get him moving. So I think Jacko is pretty happy actually to be um, my offsider, he sent me a couple of emails and he said oh you mentioned my name in the last episode and I'm like yeah that's because you're my new offsider. <laughs> 
So I don't think he actually realised what I was mentioning mentioning him for. So, but um, yeah, I don't think no, I don't think these guys go together like those other yellow ones. So he possibly could have chucked them together and had um, had him tethering at the same time, but it'll be fine. I think, yeah, our next sort of major goal would be to possibly get some cows. Um, I think we might have enough hay bales and silage bales in there for the moment to sort of get us through. Plenty of straw bales coming, but I'd still like to sort of get another one lot of straw and one lot, or one lot of hay, I should say, one lot of silage from this farm, this field, and um, fill that shed right up with bales that way we know we're not going to be short anytime soon and anything we sort of get from this field later on will just sell directly directly to the shop might even turn it into silage using our silage bunker for the first time and then um, be able to take that silage and sell it so we'll need a loading wagon or something to pick up see the stuff that we've, we've already cut and that sort of thing. Run back down into here again as we did last time. Run to the left here and pick up the bits we've missed there. Go back to this starting corner here and then we'll set him up. Set him up to get going. Set him up to 180. There we go. Higher work up. Now let's hope he continues. And um, we don't have issues with him mowing. If, it, if he does, we'll know that it's those John Deere mowers and we'll need to get rid of those guys and just continue to use these ones, unfortunately. I'd rather continue to use our John Deere stuff, but it's just it's not going to happen. Um, okay, so just quickly taking a check on how much that's going to cost. Need a fair bit of money before we can buy that guy. 165,000. Um, keep keep an eye on him. Won't keep the map up the whole time, but when we get to the top here and start to turn around, I'll make sure he's actually turned around and he's heading back. Then again, it's probably just as easy for us to sort of keep an eye on him this way. Yeah, he's still moving, so he's not stuck like um, he would usually be with the John Deere mowers. So it's like he's still moving. That field there is nearly ready to harvest. Um, obviously, when I had times five going and plant growth still on it, the outside grew before the inside, which is kind of weird. But let's have a look. Yeah, he's still going, so that's good. Certainly an issue with those John Deere mowers, so we can get rid of those as well then. Unfortunately, I'd love to keep them. But, we get rid of them and we can um, have a bit more money in our pocket to purchase something else that we need. Alright, head back down. Let's um, do that now before we forget. So we go to the mowers. It's a good 40k back in our pocket. It's up to 95,000. Still not enough for a decent loading wagon or anything, but... Look at these blocked by an object, which is what? That fence, no doubt. Alright, let's... Let's give him another run straight across this way. So that'll hopefully help him not to get stuck. Oh, where are we? Go to 70 degrees, make sure we're still running the right way. We probably still will have some dramas when we get down to my house here. We won't have as much of a drama at the front of his place, but definitely when he hits 
my house, which is right next to his. You can probably have some dramas. We'll be able to get him out with the uh, wind rower as well. Get him moving. Should be the last little bit. Beautiful. And we can set him back up over here and get him going again. Hopefully he'll have enough room now to get past or get around the fence without it causing him too many dramas. There we go. Keep him moving. We'll keep moving. How many bales have we got so far? Uh, here. 24 bales created already. And we've got heaps to go. So when we hit, um, we'll say 39 bales, I'll probably go and grab the truck, come and pick them all up, take them back, and then grab our John Deere 9R tractor and the plough, and sort of get him started down the descent, get Dumpy started on ploughing, and Jacko can keep doing his, his mowing down the other end, get Dumpy up this end helping us again. He actually did a pretty good job on spraying that field with the weeds. As you can see, there's like very few spots with weeds, so no one's perfect. Actually, half of that's probably where I've missed spots anyway, so can't blame Dumpy at all. Certainly smashing these bales out. 29. Okay, so there's some around there. We've got to make sure we go and get that. Actually, they're not really that big of an issue getting those ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So when we hit 45 bales, we'll go and grab the truck. Those ones don't really matter too much. We don't really need to make sure that we go and pick them up because we'll start the uh, plough off down this end. Alright, so what else do we really need? We don't really need anything else at the moment. Um, obviously need our little a little John Deere who's 119,000 so we're going to need to get uh, this guy eventually. Standard wheels, standard engine, we get the front load attacher as well. We go from there, but um, oh Jesus! Yeah, that's probably one of our next purchases, just for spraying and that sort of stuff. But that's not not important at the moment. Um, I still haven't looked at that growth control mod like I said I would. It's um it's actually on the Giants website as well, so it must be a pretty good mod. Anything that you pretty much find on that Giants website. Um, is a mod that's been tested by Giants. They're more than happy to put it into the game. It doesn't cause any issues. So I think all modders would like to see their mods on their website. Um, and hopefully if I can finish my map and work out how to actually do that. <coughs> pardon me. I would be able to um, send it through to Giants, hopefully make it an official mod when my map's finally done, but the map is still coming along very, very slowly. It's going to take me, like, forever to get to where we want to go. So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know when it's going to get done. But um, I'm going to sort of try and plug away at it and do a little bit here and there and maybe a couple of hours a week put on it so it's probably going to take a, a few months or more to get it done unless I can get a couple of days where I just absolutely hammer it and spend like a whole 10 or 12 hours on it and just try and get it done so so how many bells have we got now? 41 so not far off now We can um, 
keep moving along and um, instead we get dumpy out here. Got one. What's that? 43. So we'll try and keep a count. 44. Birds are bloody going again. Shut up, Pepper. We don't want to hear. Um, 44. No, 43. Must be when they hit the ground. Oh, then again, I don't know. I've literally got nothing left to, to throw, so we'll get this run done and then we'll um, set him up for the next run. And we'll go from there. I've like, literally got nothing left that I can safely throw at them that won't probably put a hole in the wall <laughs> or hurt them. They're like a pair of socks or something, something soft. Like, those power poles are such a pain in the ass, but. You know, they make part of the map. They make the map that little bit more unique. Oh, she is being really noisy today. What I'll do is I'll um, turn around up here. I will quickly pause the recording. I'll go and move these birds somewhere else because they're being noisy and annoying the crap out of me and probably you. And um, we'll come back in a second. Alright, guys, back. Uh, the birds are fine, I swear. They've just been moved out into uh, the garage. So, the garage is sort of, depending on where you're from, it's called different things, but um, old tractor, an old tractor. Um, for us over here, a garage is like attached to the house, so. They haven't been thrown outside, away from the home in the garage, they're sort of still attached to the house and that sort of stuff, so... Not in any danger. They're still there. But, um, we just can't hear them, thank God. Alright, I'm going to quickly... set this up. Fire a worker quickly, so that I can jump this truck, um, what I load on, get the bales out of the way, or at least give him that little run, that run down, and then we'll be able to sort of get him to go north-south, south-north, whatever, actually he's just absolutely smashed it, he's going to drive through the fence, onto our other field, make a mess, Good work, Dumpy. Good work, mate. Um, righto. We'll, um... Pushing our bales out of the way everywhere. Let's unhire you for a second. Alright, stop you there for a minute. Let's go and grab... Some of these bales out of the way, and then we'll um, get him moving again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't grab the ones over there. Ten, uh, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I don't know how many are actually on the ground. It says forty-nine, so there should be ten extra bales laying around somewhere. We just grab these guys and head down diagonally, sort of thing. We should be okay to get enough out of the way to get him, get him sort of moving again. Probably not going to get um, all this bailing done this episode. We're already well and truly over half an hour, so we're not going to get all our bailing done. So look at the map quickly. He's going alright, he's missed little bits, but you no, know, Jacko's doing a good job. Can't complain at all. He just missed one bail. That's 30 bales, we'll grab another 9, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we've got 12 there. So we grab this guy, 3, 38, for these ones, and then it'll be 39 in a second. 7, grab this one for 38. That one for 39, and then we'll just move ourselves along out here, out of the way a little bit, and then jump back in our 9R. Get moving again. Hopefully, we can set him up, as I said, to run around the field. I might, um, Allow create fields on for a second and try and get the side of this field sort of a little bit better. See where it looks like it's cultivated but it hasn't actually been planted. So if I can do allow create fields and actually run the right way, which I didn't then, but probably make it look just that little bit better on the outsides. So we'll run all the way up to where our other tractor is and we'll turn around and head back the other way. Oh, there we go. So turn create fields off. Turn around. Uh, get enough power to get around. Come on. There we go. Head up this way and then I'll set him up to run back to the north at nine, zero degrees it will be. So we'll turn now, work out. There you go, around about zero degrees. Uh, jump back into this guy. Keep us moving. We can keep an eye on both of these guys and see how they're going. So it'll show us harvest, it'll show us ploughed. Hopefully he'll... Might have to actually go and... Go back down the end here and turn around and get him set up again. Oops, alright, there we go. Head back up. Right about there. Yep, beautiful. It's that way he, um gets all the way down the end of that field, otherwise he might have not been able to get through it properly. So we're going to need to get the truck down there soon and unload those bales. Back up here collecting these islands before we get too far with that plough. The plough's probably going to catch us. I'd say he's... Um... Well then again, knowing how that plough makes the workers turn around the end of each field, May not catch us. Uh, Helper E's completed their task. Who is? Alright. Yeah, it's done a good job. Jacko has completed that job, so be able to take those bales down and um, get them unloaded. Getting back out with the tether, getting tethering that grass, we can turn into hay bales. Um, do we put any... No, not yet. I'm going to have to put some grass in for the cows too. Some straight grass. I know we don't need it, and a lot of people will say it's a waste of time. But, um, there's no point just giving them total mixed ration. I know in real life, well, I would assume in real life that the cows would want more than just total mixed ration, or just silage, or just grass. Like, having a mixture of the three should help them be healthier in real life. So I believe for FS19, if we were to feed the sheep grass and hay, that's fine. That's usually all they eat. Um, but cows, like total extraction, if they eat mainly like 80% of that, 10% hay, 10% grass or something like that, it'd be a lot better. 
Help A is blocked by a watch. Our truck that I was trying to get out of the way. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, good job. Great job. Alright, so just get this um, loaded back up again. Got these other ones. That was um, my sister and her partner getting home, saying hello. They obviously have no idea what I'm recording or not. Um, so get him out of the way. Down here, and then... Keep an eye on... Um, Jacko, see how Jacko's done. He's done pretty good. Not sure what's happened with this grass here. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like it's regrowing already. It is, it's growing already. Um, the only other option I think we could possibly do is maybe turn growing off during the day and um, only have growing at the night time. But then, knowing me, I'll probably forget to turn it back on anyway. Right, so I'll flip this guy around. Throw him in, and then we'll back, we'll back, back, and grab our tetera. Think, do. To run straight across here. Don't know how much room we're really going to need. That is terrible reversing skills. So run straight along this way. Yeah, we might. That might be all right. But I'll. I might do another run back that way and then send him off on his way. If he doesn't actually tether right up against that fence, that'll be fine. Hopefully you'll still just be able to turn around. Alright, there we go. Turn him around. Head back this way, then I'll head him back to the south. So hopefully he will do decent job for us. Good look at our timer. Um, actually, I think our timer might have restarted. I think we're probably at time already. It says we've got 33 minutes to go, but that's not right. I must have um, cancelled it and set it again. I think we had like 11 minutes or something to go, so I'll um, get this guy set up at 1 at 180 in a second. Go we'll hire him now. No, you haven't completed your goddamn task. Keep him moving through and then hire worker now. You're done. How is this guy going? Pretty good, so we've got a little bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll end the episode here, and um, I guess we'll, uh, we'll come back next episode. I'll try and get this um, tethered. I'll try and get all those bales done and move back into storage, and then we'll come back and work on something else next episode. But um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as always, guys. If you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Don't miss any of our. Marwell Manor series. Oh, look at him go. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.